Uh, good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Let me just thank you all for allowing us to come out today to, to meet you all. Uh, I know you guys probably get tired of politicians coming in here and trying to influence you, but uh, that's what we do for a living. <laughs> uh, my name is James May. Uh, I'm running for the commission seat, the county commission in District 1. And just to give you a brief idea what that district is, if you would think of uh, the square in McDonough, and then go south from there toward Locust Grove, toward the, the south side of the county. That's generally what the area is. We don't have the Hampton area and we don't have the Stockbridge area. We basically have south side of McDonough and down toward Locust Grove. That's our district, District 1. Uh, currently, I have a, a person that's been in office that I'm running against who has been in office for about 16 years in this seat. And before that, I think he was in office as a, a city councilman or something like that for about 13 years. He's been in office a long time. Some people think that he's done a good job. Others of us think that he's made some mistakes. I'm on the side that, of course, thinks that he's made some mistakes, and I think it's time for him to go. And uh, some of you have probably heard that we're in tough economic times right now, and we are in tough economic times. Some of it has to do in Henry County, though, not with the fact that the economy is bad, but with the fact that I believe that uh, some of the people on the commission have made some mistakes in terms of how they have used our money. I think they've made some mistakes having to do with uh, some purchases they, they've made, uh, for instance, having to do with the golf course that I don't believe that we needed to have at a time when we are uh, having trouble financially, and there have been some other purchases that they've made that I don't think are good. For instance, in today's paper, if you look at the Daily Herald, uh, the headline says that uh, there won't be any pay, increases, uh, pay increases again for people who work for the county. Uh, it has been five years now since they've had a pay increase. In fact, some of them will be furloughed again this year. That means that they will be re having their pay reduced as a result of what's going on now. There's something like a $10 million deficit, 10 to $50 million deficit in the county right now. I think that's a bad problem, and I don't think it's a problem that's necessarily caused by the economy. In the paper today, they said if you live in Henry County over the next year, you're probably looking at a uh, tax increase as a result of that deficit. The millage rate probably will be going up as a result of that. And so for that reason and a lot of reasons, uh, we believe that uh, we're going to be a better candidate than the person that's currently in office. If you ask me about our platform, we really have chosen about four things that we want to be uh, concerned about over the next four years if I'm the commissioner. Number one, we want to look at economic development in the county. Economic development and training, we believe those things go hand in hand. We're going to be working toward improving the economic development and the training that's associated with that in the county. Number two, uh, we believe that we need to do something about the transportation problems in Henry County. And we're going to be working on our roads, we're going to be working on large trucks uh, are continuing to be a problem in our district, and we're going to be doing some things to try to help out in, in, in that area. We think that public safety is an area that has not gotten a lot of attention over the last four or five years. As I mentioned earlier, they haven't had any pay increases. In fact, some of them are going to be having their pay reduced because of the furloughs and other things that are going on. So there are a number of areas in Henry County that we think we can improve, and we're going to be trying to improve them over the next four or five years. And uh, with your help, if you remember me, District 1 Commissioner James C. Mays, I hope you'll vote for me this July 31st, and I hope you'll vote for me again this November. Thank you very much.